hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a wash and go I've already applied my base to my hair I am gonna do the back of my hair and then I'm gonna come back when I'm finished and then I'll share with you a few tips while doing the front of my hair So guys just a side note if you want a more defined look and a more separated look go ahead and part your hair into smaller sections I want to get done quickly so I have already had my sections parted off when I applied my UFD so it will be quicker for me to apply I'm just gonna do it into the section when I get up to the front on this side I might separate a little bit but I'll show you that in the video. So anyway, I'm gonna keep going and then I'm gonna come back and give you a few more tips if you want a more defined, separated, sh shingled looking wash and go by doing the raking and smoothing method. I'm gonna do my little technique for a little bit more separation up here at the front of my head and um, we'll see what it turns out to be so for this wash and go I have never used a combo of this and this together so I am just playing it safe and I'm gonna use the smallest amount to see what the results are going to be I don't want to overuse the product or use too much so I'm just gonna use the smallest amount for this wash and go and if the next time I'm probably gonna be using this combo for a month so I may not record all the videos or I can just record and let you guys see the progress of what the wash my wash and go is gonna be like for the colder months I'm gonna mostly be using a mousse because I want my hair to be drying quicker um, in the winter months and then I probably will be switching back and forth between my mousse and sometimes between <laughs> um, jello shot because it's in the fridge I keep forgetting about it and I have to take it out beforehand to use it so I'm gonna be doing that uh, quite a bit for the um, these few months going into fall and winter so I do have about three little pumps. I don't know if that's too much, but that's what I'm doing for this wash and go. And I'm just rub it down my hair. And remember, I already have UFD on my hair. I'm basically just smoothing the the mousse through my hair just to make sure every part of my hair has the mousse on it and then I'm gonna apply the um, the weed odd climate control gel on top so I'm finished with that section and I'm gonna show you the amount of weed that I'm adding so it's basically one pump and I'm gonna rub it in my hands and then I'm just gonna apply it down my hair. Okay, so guys, if you want a more defined look, just go ahead and split the hair in smaller sections. I'm going to 
split in, split in in smaller sections. I definitely need to go to Walmart and get myself some more clips. I do love these clips right here, but they keep breaking. So, and then you just rake and smooth the product through. So this is going to give you smaller, defined, more a more defined wash and go. It gives me a more defined wash and go when I do it like this. But because I don't care and I'm always pressed for time, I don't really do this. So that's it. You could do more raking and smoothing if you need a more defined look, but I really don't care. So this, you could split it in a, a smaller section, but I'm not going to, <laughs> I'm too lazy, but yeah, I have things to do today. So we're just going to do this and always be gentle when you're raking and smoothing through your hair. So guys, I am finished with this section and this is what this is looking like. Very separated and very elongated. So guys, this is the first time me testing out these, using these three products together. So this is my first time and I'm filming it so that you guys can see. And I'm just going to share with you over time how you can use your first set and start implementing changes in the set to get it the way you want it. If it doesn't work out the way you want it the first time. It takes practice. Sometimes using um, a certain products together for the first time. It's the first time you're using it so you're not sure how it's going to work out. I'm going to share with you maybe in the next few weeks me trying this combo out maybe for three washes just to see if I can if there's any changes I need to make to the combo that will help me to work but it's looking pretty good I wonder how it will dry right now it's looking really really good it's looking super defined very elongated did I not use enough products? That's just sometimes what you are left with when you're trying to combo for the first time. It just takes practice. Um, so it's just getting your technique down. So guys, I am at the final section of my hair. So I'm just going to share this final section with you fully on camera. As I mentioned, you have these already on my hair. So crazy sexy curls I still do not like the smell but the fact that it goes away over a period of time I like that and I've, I actually like the result that it gives so my hair is super curly just from the UFD alone so the first thing I'm doing is putting on this and as I said when you're first trying to come I like products together you don't exactly know how they're gonna work even though you have your technique down you just don't know what quantity is really gonna work on your hair so yeah I don't know what quantity is gonna work on my hair my hair looks beautiful but I don't know if this is gonna give me enough hold for the week it should though because I know when I use the UFD and the um, crazy sexy curls it give me quite a good hold for the week so, so and then I'm gonna add and this is serum like consistency as I mentioned before I always rubbed it I rub it in my hands and I'm just gonna I'm 
just gonna rake and smooth this product into my hair as I said if you want a more defined look this is a big enough section for me I can rake through everything so it doesn't bother me but if you want a more defined look split the section into a smaller portion and you're good to go so I'm good to go and I, I'm always worried did I put enough product on my hair so I'm gonna go for the last section I'm gonna split this a little bit more because I want a little bit more defined look right here and I think I'm gonna do that as well so we're just gonna go through here feels very light and fluffy so I'm gonna head underneath the dryer and when I get back out here I will show you what it looks like we'll see if it's a fail or it's a beautiful wash and go so this drying time I was only under the dryer for about 45 minutes but around 15 20 minutes the outer layer was dry it was more so the roots I think I have like about 5% or so left to go but I'm just gonna go with it for right now because I have other things to do and right here but that the hum um, I'll use my diffuser to do that in a little bit but I'm so loving this wash and go guys it's so funny when I actually have time to do my wash and go what I can actually do